Hi, good day. My name is David Ezekiel. I'm a data analyst. And today I'm going to be helping you walk through um, one common problem you might run into when working with SSIS. And so if you are building your data flow from source to um, building your data warehouse on, let's say, um, SQL Server, and you want to pull your data from source, and most times just automate the process, you are going to use SSIS to accomplish that. Um, so this is a common problem you're going to have, especially when you are connecting from an Excel source. And um, you could be told, um, could not retrieve the table information for connection. And this could be the name of your connection. And they tell you fail to connect to source using connection manager. So a quick way to fix this, um, let me show you the problem first. So I this is Visual Studio. Um, if you don't have Visual Studio, you can just download Visual Studio. Um, online, you can just Google Visual Studio and download. Uh, but one thing, if you want to use SSIS in Visual Studio, you can now go to the tool and add it as an extension so you can use SSIS. So to make it shorter, I've just opened exercise here and I'm just going to drag this and drop. You could also double click your data flow. And uh, when I double click on data flow, I can go to Excel source and pull in Excel source. And when I double click on Excel, um, I create new connection. Um, I can browse. When I browse, I have Adventure Works um, data set. I click on this, I click on OK. Now there's the problem. Usually when I have this drop down, I should be able to see the list of sheets I have in that workbook, but it's not possible. Um, so how do I get out of this? I click out and I'm showing this. So this is the um, connection details, um, the error details, telling me that I can't connect to this because of what reason. So sometimes you, you just don't know what to do. Um, typically you could go to Google, to Google, to check one or two things. So actually I went to Google and I tried to figure out, and I went to Stack Overflow. I looked at one or two solutions, and bam, this guy was great. He said, it seems to be 32 version of Excel was not installed. Um, remember that SSDT is a 32-bit ID. So it shows me that I have a 32-bit um, problem of Excel, and one way to fix this is to download 32-bit access drivers from from this, so I could just right click, open a new link, and I go to my new link that I've opened. So this will just take maybe a while. I click on download. Um, so since I'm looking for 32, I'm going to click on this and have it downloaded. Okay, so I'm going to save this and um, that should be quick. I open it up. And so I try to install this quickly. So this should be really fast um, in installation. Next, accept. Next, install. Completed, I click on OK. So now I can go back to my SSIS package. I close this um, just to cancel. So two ways to do this. You could either come here and double click on this to create a connection, or you could actually right click here and say you want a new connection. So when you click on new, depends on what you want. If it's an OLEB um, data source, um, which is not, uh, it could be a file connection, which is for CSV, or you could just come to new connection and you see a list of connections to create. Um, you just choose on, on an Excel. Um, so we have Excel here. So you could use either way. So you could use from the file, you could just create your connection here. So when I browse, I see my data again, I click on okay. When I click on okay, so coming to this place, I click on the connection that I want. I could select the connection already existing or I could create a new one. So let me create a new one here, um, just to show you that I can do it both ways. Sorry, not this data that I want to get. Um, I want adventure works. Um, this and bam, everything is fixed. So I can select the first and I just choose what I want to get in. 
and it's sorted out. So I think this might be helpful for you in what you want to do to connect to Excel. And there's a, there's a quick way to fix some of those problems that you might encounter. So thank you very much. Um, see you in my next video on how to create a database. Bye.